is 16-year-old Eva Matthews, and today is her birthday. She should be celebrating, turning 17 with friends and family, but instead they're all mourning her loss. Eva died three weeks ago, and tonight her parents still don't know what caused her death. Could be months before they find out. Earlier this year, we uncovered backlogs at the crime labs and exposed a shortage of medical examiners. The GBI forensic team is slotted for 18 positions, but there were eight vacancies as of September. We've spoken with families desperately searching for answers. Sidney Hood introduces us to the Matthews family and how they're turning their pain into action. You wonder, did I do something wrong? Did I miss something? Um, was there something I could have done differently? You will always wonder those things. Wondering what happened to their vibrant. She wanted to be a screenplay writer. Full of life. There was nothing she couldn't do. 16 year old daughter. We know autopsy results are backed up, but now you add on this other layer of <coughs> families don't know when their loved one's gonna come home. Eva's body was with the GBI for a week. So we feel like feel like we kind of got robbed of some last moments to, to let not just us, but her friends and other family to be able to say goodbye to her. So with Eva on their mind, we, we want to try to help other families that are dealing with the same situation. We want to start advocating for them so that maybe we can get some changes made. Just like Eva would have wanted. Eva was one to stand up for people, to make sure people were seen and heard. And I know it was her just saying, Mom, I need you to just try. Just have my voice heard. Just for others, not just for me, but for others. That's how Eva lived her life, and that's how they want her name to live on after her death. And Augusta, Sydney Hood, on your side. It's been three, uh, three weeks now since Eva Matthews died, and her family is still waiting for those answers.